Let's get that bread. Today's challenge is to make some bread. I'm going to start with yeast, obviously. This yeast has uh, been open for a year now, when I br made bread a year ago. So I'm going to check to see if it's still alive by dumping out this whole packet. I'm going to use this one for the bread. Yeast in. A little bit of sugar in as well. I'm going to put in a little bit of crystallized honey as well. Because this yeast isn't going to turn into bread. It's just going to be thrown out after this. I do want to make sure it has a fun last meal. So I stir that up for a second. Make sure that the yeast is alive. And prepare everything I need to actually make the bread. Okay, it's been a few minutes and the yeast looks like that. Uh, I thought it was supposed to have bubbles at the top. So it doesn't really look like I thought it would. It does smell like bread though. So I'm sure it's fine. Okay, on to the bread making. I'm going to mix in one packet of yeast, one half teaspoon of sugar, and two cups of warm water. You might be asking, where's the challenge in making bread? People have been making bread for thousands of years, isn't it super easy? Didn't it even just fall from the sky before? They didn't even bother making it? And the answer is yes, it is easy. But I'm going to make it a little more difficult and add the requirement of when I'm done, the bread has to look like it wasn't thrown in a lake. So it's going to look real good. I know some of you might like lake bread. And you'd be like, oh, but that's the best kind. Um, but you're incorrect. Just like I probably use an incorrect temperature of water. It looked a little bit hot, but it'll figure itself out. Yeast is pretty smart. This already looks better than the last kind. I do not think the honey helped. Okay, toss this in the oven for 10 minutes, and I'm going to start mixing the many dry ingredients that are in bread. We're going to have four cups of flour and one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm going to sift it through the strainer because you very rarely get to use one of these in the kitchen. So I might as well take advantage of the opportunity. I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of salt after every cup so that they're evenly mixed up. That wasn't super even. Don't breathe that. It's going through the mesh very finely. So you might ask, is it even doing anything? I do not know the answer to that question. And the recipe that I'm following, well, I'm following multiple, and only some of them say to do this. So it's probably not important. But look at these white rocks that were in the flour bag. I wouldn't have found those if I hadn't done it. This is mixed, and since I'm incredibly fast, we are still waiting on the yeast. Let's see how the yeast looks. The bowl's still a little warm. Um, that's good, I guess, right? Yeah. That yeast is alive and kicking. Nice and fluffy. So, what I'm going to do now is um, add a little olive oil to it, just for fun. Mix it into the flour. This is not for fun, this is like mandatory to the process. It really doesn't matter. 
you're just mixing. Yeah, we're ready. A little bit of flour just for fun. Dump this out. Definitely looking a little dry. The good thing about making food for yourself is you don't have to wash your hands before you start cooking. Even if you're doing something like this, you only have to stay up to your own personal hygiene standards. Not the probably more rigid standards that you should adhere to if you're cooking for someone else. I did forget to Google how to knead dough before I started, so I am just winging it. I do feel like it's probably still dry. Let's, let's see if I can add water at this stage. This might just make a mess, but we'll see. Looks good to me, you don't want to overwork your dough. Give the bowl a quick clean out. And then give it a little oil rub down. Toss our ball in there. Cover it with a towel. Do I have a towel? Go with paper towel. Is it supposed to be a moist paper towel? I think it's supposed to be moist. Now we have to wait again. Um, I'll see you in 40 minutes. It has been 39 minutes, but let's open it up early anyway. I haven't looked inside yet. Moment of truth. The ball should be twice as big. Otherwise, we have a problem. Um, looks terrible. Definitely is bigger. I don't know if it's twice as big. Looks really bad though, eh? I don't know why I didn't use an actual towel. Next step, it said to knead it five or six times. And I was thinking, I was like, I don't know how, how long is one knead. It's just a process. You knead it for however long you want, right? So then I was like, fine. One knead is 30 seconds. So knead it five times means knead it for... 2 minutes 50 seconds. And that was what I was planning on doing and then I realized maybe they mean one need is in like one one palm thrust. So like that's one. And then that's two. So five, two minutes would have been much longer than I think they wanted me to do. Anyway. Um... I guess it's been kneaded. It's looking real dense. Tastes like bread though. We're going to sort of form it into the shape I want now. I'm making bread, so I want it to look bread-like. How do you get this ball out of the middle? That was my battery telling me to hurry up. I don't like this. I wish I could make that become one. Um, but I don't want to overwork it here. Let's make it longer. Okay, that's good enough. Putting this onto a lightly greased Baking sheet. Real 
light with it. And then I gotta find somewhere warm to put it because I cannot use the oven. Since I'm gonna turn the oven on now, preheat up to 425. The smoke alarm just went off, which I assume means the oven is now preheated. My loaf of bread is ginormous. That's like how big I want it to be when it's done, not when it goes in, so. We'll see. Seven minutes. Let's take a peek, see how it's looking. It's hot. Alright. I was a little afraid. It's looking a little bit white. Which, if anyone's ever thrown bread into a lake before, they know that it comes out looking a little white. But we can fix that. I don't particularly like a very crunchy crust on my bread, but I do like a brown color on my bread. So a little egg, just a dash of water, a nice fork. I do not have a pastry brush. Do I have a pastry brush? I don't think I have one. So we are going to do a little fork brush, which if you're not familiar with, um, well this isn't working at all, is it? We're gonna do a little paper towel brush, which if you're not familiar with it, you just stick your paper towel in the thing and then brush it on. This is gonna crisp up the edges a good bit. Let me show you the other side where that big old crack is. I do not like a crack on bread at all. I think that all the bread should stay inside of the bread and not come out like that. But, just the way things go sometimes. Okay, that's good enough for me. My brushing went great, in my opinion. Another 13 minutes until the bread is cooked. In the meantime, I guess I'll start cleaning up. Alright, I'm ready to get this bread. How are we looking? It's done when the bottom sounds hollow, that's what the internet said. Kinda hot. Is that hollow? Seems a little dense, but also a little hollow. Let's, uh, let's cut her up. Incredibly hot. Increíble. Let's cut off the end. Because nobody likes the butt ends. Looks cooked. A little bit dense. Smells like flour. There's a piece of bread for my lunch. I'm having refrigerated pizza for lunch. So, bone apple tea, challenge complete. 